Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to take a closer look at the Brother 2104D Overlocker. Just one of a wide range of overlocker and cover stitch machines available to buy on our site soessential.co.uk. At So Essential we pride ourselves on using our expert knowledge to help you find the perfect machine for you and that's why I've made this video but we're also always here to support you by phone or email too. The Brother 2104D is the cheapest overlocker in the Brother range and has all the same grade features as the 3034D but it doesn't include the extension table and trim trap and these things are available to buy separately. It does include the fast easy looper threading system which makes threading that lower looper so much easier. You can sew with three or four threads and create a range of stitches including the rolled hem. It's got differential feeds that you can compress or gather the fabric as you sew, a retractable knife, the option for a free arm which makes sewing in the round so much easier. It includes three free feet, which are a piping foot, a blind hem stitch foot, and a gathering foot. And you can sew with standard sewing machine needles too. I'll pop a link in the corner of the screen so you can jump on and take a closer look and purchase it on our website. We'll have a look at what's in the box later in the video, but now let's get started by taking a closer look at what this wonderful machine can do for you. The first thing we need to do is to thread the machine and for the Brother 2104D you have to thread in a specific order. You have to thread the lower looper first, then the upper looper, then the right needle, then the left needle. And you've got this telescopic thread guide which extends up and you feed the threads through the guides on the top of that. Now, Normally you would extend it and pass the thread through the relevant guides, but I'm going to do it in shot and then extend it up afterwards. But normally you would extend it first and then put your threads through. But there's a hole labelled number one and you always go from back to front. So we're going to go from the back of the hole through to the front and then we're going to come underneath thread guide number two and through like so. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to extend that out of shot. And then the third thread guide is the hole on top of the machine there. I just need to pass the thread through there and bring it to the front of the machine. Before we start threading the actual machine part, we just need to use this lever here to lift the presser foot. And then we need to turn the hand wheel until the line on the hand wheel matches with the line on the side of the machine. Then slide the front cover across to open it and we're going to follow the numbered guides to thread the lower looper following the blue numbers and the blue thread path. So the next guide is number five which is a hook here. So we pass the thread through there. Then we're going to go underneath guides six and seven. So bringing the thread underneath the metal guides there, we've gone under both six and seven then through the hook which is numbered eight and then this is where the brother machines really come into their own this is the lower looper and we need to thread that but part of it is hidden away and with a lot of manual threading overlockers you will find that it's quite fiddly trying to get into the relevant part of the lower looper to be able to thread it but with the brother machines we have this sliding lever here number nine and when I slide that across if you watch the lower looper you'll see it drop forward so that it gives us easier access. And you can see there now, I've got easier access to the lower looper to be able to thread it. And then all I need to do is just take the thread around that triangular guide there and pass it through the eye of the needle and the lower looper is threaded. And there are diagrams on the machine here to show you and there's also diagrams in the manual as well. So just pass it around that metal guide and make sure that it stays in the other guides that we've followed to get to this point. And then just pass it through the eye of the needle, like so. Pull it through, making sure nothing gets twisted. 
and the lower looper is threaded and then I would just pass the thread under the arm of the machine and put it to the back of the machine. So I've taken the excess thread for the lower looper through the machine, through under the arm of the machine and then brought it round to the side and then before we thread the upper looper we just need to turn the hand wheel and return the lower looper to its original position like so. Then we take the thread for the upper looper through the same thread guides at the top of the machine and then we're going to follow the green numbers this time to thread the upper looper. So behind the hook number five, under guide number six but not seven for the upper looper. So we're only going under that first guide and then we're going to bring the thread up and over guide number seven like so. And then we're just going to take the thread through the eye of the upper looper needle from front to back the same way we did the lower looper needle like so. And then I can just get my tweezers again and grab that and pull it through. And there you have it, our upper looper is now threaded and again I would just pass that thread under the machine and bring it to the side. Now we're going to thread the right needle. So again, we've gone through the relevant guide on the telescopic thread guide at the top, through number three on the top of the machine, and then we're following the pink numbers this time. So we're coming under here, and then up and over, much like you do on your sewing machine, and then you want your thread to go down the right-hand side of this metal guide here. Behind the guide on the front of the needle bar, which again is very similar to your sewing machine and then just put your thread through the eye of the needle in the normal way. Good test of my eyesight. <laughs> so there we go, just put that through the needle and again I'll just take that to the back of the machine, through under the arm of the machine and just to the back and to the side. And then we'll repeat the process with the left needle so take it through guides one and two at the top like we did for all of the other threads and then through guide three on the top of the machine, down the front of the machine, through guide four and then we're going to bring it around up and over and this time we're going on the left hand side of the metal guide behind the guide on the needle bar again so just Bring that behind like so and then again just thread that needle in the usual way and one of the really good things about brother overlockers is you can just use normal sewing machine needles in them so if you buy a packet of needles for your sewing machine you can also use those same needles on the overlocker we do stock all of the needles for overlockers and sewing machines on our site to start stitching I'm just going to close the front cover and I've still got the foot in the up position because I'm just going to pop my fabric under the foot and then I'll lower the foot and I've put the threads under the foot into the back of the machine to start sewing and then I'm just going to use the foot control to go ahead and sew that lovely neat four thread overlocking stitch. And you can see there we've got a beautifully neat balanced stitch. The red thread is the upper looper, the black thread, the parallel lines are the needles and then on the back we've got the lower looper stitches in the blue thread but we've got a lovely neat balanced overlocking stitch there. You've also got the option to sew a three thread overlocking stitch on this machine. And I'm going to demonstrate the narrow three thread overlocking stitch now. So I've removed the left needle and I've just got the right needle threaded and then the upper and lower loopers threaded too. You've also got the option to sew a wide three thread overlocking stitch and in that case you would thread the left needle and remove the right needle. But all the instructions for all the different stitches are in the manual 
and it tells you which stitch widths and lengths to set, all that sort of thing. Obviously always follow the threading order that I talked to you about at the start of the video. As long as you thread in the correct order, you'll get the results you want. But let's have a look now at this narrow three thread overlocking stitch. So you can see there we've got a lovely neat narrow balance stitch, we've got one needle thread and then we've got the red upper looper threads and we've got the blue lower looper threads on the wrong side of the fabric and I like to use this on more delicate fabrics like this cotton lawn or perhaps like a lightweight linen viscose fabric. I just think it's a really nice delicate way to finish the edge of seams rather than a four thread overlocking stitch. But I would always use the four thread for garment construction because it's a stronger stitch. When the machine is set up for a three thread overlocking stitch, so that's the upper and lower loopers and the right needle, you've also got the option to sew what's called a rolled hem, which is a pretty decorative finish, often used on satin fabrics, chiffon fabrics. And all you do to create the three thread rolled hem is adjust your stitch width and length according to the manual. And the manual will also give you instructions on how to set your tensions for different types of fabric as well. But then the final step we need to do is just to remove this here, which is the stitch finger. And what that does is that means that when we sew the rolled hem, it gives it that rolled effect, that curved effect to the stitches rather than being a flat stitch. So I'm going to go ahead now and sew the three thread rolled hem and I'm using some woolly nylon which you can also purchase on our site. I'm using that in the upper looper, it's a thicker thread so it just fills the stitches in more. see there we've got this lovely decorative finish to the edge of the fabric so it just means you can use this instead of a narrow hem sometimes if you want something a bit more delicate. The other option is that you can use the threads, the excess threads to create belt loops and things like that for your clothes as well when you're making them but it just gives you that nice decorative finish to the edge of fabrics. One of the things that makes the Brother 2104D Overlocker such great value are all the additional feet included. So when you purchase the machine from us, you'll find the standard presser foot on the machine, but then in the accessory pack, you'll also find a gathering foot, a piping foot, and a blind hem stitch foot. And I'm just going to show you the gathering foot now. And you can see there, we have a lovely gathered piece of fabric attached to a non-gathered piece of fabric. Now we'll take a look at the piping foot. And you can see there, we've got lovely, neat, even piping sewn between two layers of fabric. The machine also includes a blind hem stitch foot, which allows you to sew a blind hem, but also allows you to sew flat lock stitching and pin tuck stitching. You set the machine up for a three thread overlocking stitch using the upper and lower loopers and the left needle only. And then in the manual, you'll find instructions on how to fold the fabric, what length and width settings to choose, and also which tensions to set. But I'm gonna go ahead now and sew a blind hem stitch.
and I've opened that out and you can see here on the right side I've got a few little bits of stitching visible but if I was using a matching thread that would be barely visible also if you're using coarser fabrics with a looser weave it's not very visible you'll always get some visibility of the stitches on the right side but it's very very minimal and then on the wrong side you've got a lovely neat overlocking stitch so I'm just going to give you a walk round of the machine so that you can see how to set it up for various different stitches and all the different parts and how to use them. So this lever here is the presser foot lift. So we just lift that whenever we're threading the machine and you can also lift it to put your fabric underneath the foot and then you lower the foot before you start sewing. This is the stitch length dial and you just turn it according to the numbers recommended in the manual for the different stitches. This is the differential feed and it's normally set at number one but if you want to deliberately stretch your fabric for any reason you can knock it down. Sometimes you might want to create a special effect and stretch some jersey as you sew or equally you might want to deliberately gather your fabric in which case you knock it up and then we also have here the stitch width dial again all of those settings are outlined clearly in the manual for the various different stitches up here we've got the presser foot pressure dial and you can adjust that if you're working with different thicknesses of fabric and then we have the tension dials for the left needle right needle upper looper and lower looper and again guidance on those for the various different stitches is given in the manual. Another feature that I absolutely love on the Brother 2104D is that you can create what's called a free arm. So you remove this piece of plastic here and this creates a flatbed or a free arm and that enables you to sew in the round more easily. So for example, if I was sewing the hem on a sleeve perhaps, I can slide the sleeve over the end of the machine and then I know when I'm sewing the edge that I'm only going to catch the top layer of the fabric. It just makes sewing in the round on necklines, sleeve hems, anything like that much, much easier because normally you would have to move the bottom layer out of the way and manoeuvre the top layer under the foot and you run the risk of catching that bottom layer. But with the free arm, you can slide it over the end like so and you know you're only ever going to sew the top layer and then if you purchase the extension table which is also available on our site that's where that's inserted as well and you can extend your working area. There may be times when you don't want to use the knife because you don't want to cut the edge of your fabric. If this is the case just follow the instructions in the manual Bring your needle to the lowest point and then you use this lever here, you just pull that to the right and that will bring the blade out and then you can turn it and retract it completely. So now the fabric won't be cut when you sew and then when you want to return it to cut, you just pull it out again and return it to its original position. So if you're impressed with all the fantastic features of this machine and you want to take a closer look, just click the link in the corner of the screen and you can view it on our website and purchase it there. In the box you'll find everything you would expect, a detailed instruction manual, the foot control, spool caps, thread nets, spare needles, an allen key, some tweezers. You also get four reels of thread to get you started and those three free feet. Then if you want to take your sewing even further, there are additional feet and accessories to buy separately. So you might want to buy a pearl sequencing foot or a taping foot or the extension table or trim bin. They're all available on our site. Just look for the Brother Accessories and give us a shout if you need any help choosing because that is what we're here for. I've given you a really good overview of the Brother 2104D Overlocker, but if I've left any of your questions unanswered, don't hesitate to get in contact. We're always here to support you with our expert knowledge before and after you purchase a machine from us. All of our machines come with a full manufacturer's warranty, so that's three years on the Brother 2104D. 
And in the unlikely event that you have a problem during that time, just get in contact. Most of the time we can solve any issues over the phone, but if that isn't the case, we'll collect the machine and do everything for you. We offer the best prices on our website, but if you do see this overlocker cheaper anywhere else, don't hesitate to contact us and we'll be happy to help. It will be delivered by courier the next working day with a dedicated time slot so you know exactly when that happy post is going to arrive. I hope you've enjoyed the overview of this wonderful machine and you're feeling excited about all the possibilities. Thanks for watching.